Welcome to Painted Kids Studio, where we make amazing art videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post a new art video. Hello friends, Miss Kate here with a brand new painting. I just painted this one this week and um, a lot of my friends at the studio have been asking me to turn animals into unicorns. So I have done puppicorns, catacorns, pangacorns, which is a penguin unicorn if you don't know, llamacorns, and this was my latest request. It's a panda corn. So I'm gonna teach you guys today how to draw a panda bear that is part unicorn. It has a unicorn horn on its head. So to start my panda corn, I'm gonna start with a panda's head. So the panda's head's gonna be a circle. Oh, and I'm starting with Sharpie. You guys start with pencil, just in case you make mistakes. It's a lot easier to erase pencil. So start with your pencil. I'm gonna start with the, ping, the panda's head, but I don't, I wanna leave a little spot at the top that's open so that I can put that unicorn horn on top of the panda's head. So I'm leaving just a little gap right there. So after you have your panda's head drawn, we're gonna go ahead and put the horn on. So I'm gonna draw like a really tall, thin mountain like that. And I'm gonna curve the bottom like that. And then whenever I do unicorn horns, I usually add these little curved lines like this. Just a little extra detail. So it doesn't look like a panda right now, so we need to go ahead and start turning this into a panda. So to start my panda, I'm gonna start with a little nose, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna color it in black, like this. And I left a little spark, a little shine on the nose. And furry animals, I always do my swoopy, whoopy mouth, like that. And then pandas have these big black spots around their eyes. So before I even do the eyes, I'm gonna do these really big black spots. Now in my painting, I did these purple, which is kind of fun. You don't have to make your panda black and white when you're painting and you're, or you're drawing. You can make it any color you want. So these are gonna be those spots though. So we need these to be really big because inside these spots, we need to do our panda's eyes. So I have circles and then inside those circles, I do my cutie eyes. So it's like, like a circle with a little sparkle in it and then I just color in like that. So to make this look like a panda bear, because we've got the panda eyes done, we've got these big spots around the eyes, we need the panda ears. So panda ears are just curved. And I do two curves, because I always like to put a little pinky middle on my ears. So curve, curve. Okay, so panda's face is done. We're gonna go ahead and do the arms. Now on my example, I have my panda holding a heart. You don't have to have your panda holding a heart, but it's kind of fun to have it holding something. All right, so to do the arms, I'm gonna do kind of like a long, like oval shape like this. And another one on the other side like that. And then you can have it holding anything that you want. And with Easter, because I mean, that's like our holiday right now, I'm, I'm thinking maybe our panda is holding an Easter basket. That's kind of fun. But again, your, your panda could be holding anything. So ooh, I'm gonna do little swoops on my Easter basket. And to make a basket, you just, I do like crissy crossy lines like this. But your panda could be holding anything you want. It could be holding a heart, like my example, my painting example is, or maybe it's holding a cookie. I don't know. You can do whatever you want. I'll put some eggs in this basket though. Lots of eggs. Oh, and it needs a little handle. So there's the panda with his Easter basket. So after you have your two little arms on, I'm gonna do like a curve of the body, a curve of the body like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the panda's big paws. So these big feet are gonna be like big tipped over eggs. 
like that. And then after you have your big feet done, I'm gonna put the paw prints inside. So I do like a big circle at the bottom, toe, 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 big circle at the bottom, toe, toe, toe. And then I'm gonna go ahead and connect the two feet. So that's the bottom of the body. So after you have that, I do like to put an extra little stripe here and here because I like my panda's belly to be white and then the sides of the body will be, well in real life they're black, but in mine, I'm gonna not make mine black and white, I'm gonna make it like, I don't know, different colors. So um, just add a little stripe of color here on the side. After you have this done, your panda's done. You could have your panda just floating in a colored background like this, or if you want to, maybe it's like out um, in the grass somewhere. Maybe it's outside. Oh, maybe it's an Easter egg hunt. Maybe there's like Easter eggs here. Like this. That's kind of fun. So you guys can decorate the background however you want. Now, when you're done with your background, we are ready to start either coloring or painting, depending on if you're working on canvas or if you're working on paper. I am coloring with colored pencils today. I'm trying to figure out what color I wanna make my panda. In my example, I had my panda purple, but I think I'm gonna make this panda pink. So, to make my panda pink, I'm gonna go ahead and do the outside of the ears like this and then I'm gonna do the spots the eyes so these are the parts of our panda that are typically black but you don't have to do your panda black and white you can do it pink and white or purple and white or blue and white or rainbow colored and white you could do this panda any color that you want so the places I'm coloring right now, these are the parts that are usually black, but just watch what I'm doing and you can replace any of these with any color you want. So I usually have the arms this color as well. So whatever color you're using, it should be on the arms too. And I'm coloring, I'm coloring really fast. You guys color more carefully than I'm coloring right now. I just don't want this video to be too long for you guys. So I am hurrying up. Okay, so I've got his arms done. This stripe that I was talking about earlier, this is also gonna be whatever color you want your panda to be, like that. Also over here. And then around our paws. So I have the outside of these paw prints. This part is gonna be whatever color you decide to make your panda corn. Okay, so I've got that. And then over here like this and then my unicorn horn I gotta figure out what color I want to make that I think maybe golden do I have like a golden color oh yeah I do oops I do I have like a like a golden yellow color I think that's perfect so I'm gonna do my unicorn horn golden yellow like that and then the eyes maybe I'll do the eye is blue. And again, guys, I'm working so fast. You guys work more carefully than me. Because I'm trying to hurry. And you don't rush art. You take your time. All right, friends. You guys can go ahead and finish the rest of your panda bear any way that you want. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope to paint with you guys again tomorrow.